We're live. Happy New Year's Eve. We're going to do some love tarot for the Twin Flame Collective. We're going to be answering some questions and pulling a card for the new year also. We're on. We're ready. We're here to go. Here to go. Hello, LA. How are you? Hello, my love. Let's see if I can get um, a title in here. I don't think that's going to work. Fine. Okay. We're here. I'm ready to go. So. Okay. We are okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. I'm going to uh, start shuffling. Get a card for the collective about this uh, upcoming reading. It's going to be a Twin Flame Collective reading. I'm actually going to answer um, the personal questions that came in first before I do the, uh, the full spread. But for right now, I'll pull a general card to set the tone, to see what's going on. I'm gonna do a, a twin flame lover's path spread. So it's gonna show what's going on with the divine feminine, what's going on with the divine masculine, and the state of the union. Okay, oh, here we go, here's our card, look at that. The queen of swords. The Queen of Swords is a truth teller. The Queen of Swords is a um, professional at the art of speaking in black and white terms. This person can be a little bit harsh, okay? We have a lot of strong air energy in this, so there is strong Aquarian vibes. Aquarians are brutal. They're brutally honest. They're um, ruled by Uranus and by Saturn, so... Uh, they're the kind of like fuck around and find out, okay? Like they'll tell you like it is. They're not really, uh, they don't, they're not, they're not pillow soft. This is also strong Gemini energy and strong uh, Libra energy. A Queen of Swords is someone who tells it like it is. Queen of Swords is a professional at what they do. Queen of Swords is a lawyer. The Queen of Swords is a professional at the art of speaking and negotiating. Um, at the law, obviously, justice, and basically, like, calling things out, all right? So, she's a double-edged sword, so it can kind of hurt with me, something like this, this is someone who is devoid of their emotions, all right? So, we're going to get, like, the truth, we're going to get the black and white truth, it's going to be the harsh truth in this reading. Hello, Miss Gemini, welcome to the party. I'm going to be doing, um, look at the bottom of the deck also. Okay, we have another swords energy, two of swords. This is about someone who's in the middle of like an indecision, somebody who hasn't made a decision yet. It also has the energy of the hangman and this two of swords. This is about not taking action. This is about contemplation. This is about thinking before you speak. This is allowing a lawyer to do the work for you because to stay out of it, take a distance, take a, take a step back. Um, delegate this task because there's like harsh energy in here and if the feelings are involved as they usually are when it comes to legalities you want to let that go um, I wrote a blog post last night about the universal year of the seven and how it's about the seeker and about the seventh health of astrology which is about contracts relationships both personal and professional uh, negotiations okay and it's about being able to have the skill set to be able to do that because both your friends, family, and your allies and your enemies are going to be playing major roles in your life in this coming year. And um, it's interesting to see that energy coming through, okay? I uh, also feel like the second quarter is going to be where things get a little bit more tough where things become a little bit more verbal, where things become um, a place where you have to let go and let God. That's just general information for the collective, okay? 
letting some more people join in to the live. So I will be doing the Twin Flame reading, but first I'm going to be answering personal questions. I'm going to pull a holiday card for the collective. Oh, this is the last few days me using one of my favorite decks. I love this deck so much. I got it for Christmas uh, 2020, I think. And I was just so inspired. I, it just made me want to do readings for um, the collective and doing general stuff. So let's get one card, please, for the end of the holiday season for the collective. It's the last day of 2023. What do you have to tell us, please? Oh, there we go. Ace of Pentacles. So for those of you celebrating Christmas tonight, Merry Christmas. Santa's going to be very good for you. Um, this is also an indication of an abundance of money, of building generational wealth. This is also an inheritance. This is a windfall of money. This is winning the lottery. This is a jackpot. This is, uh, you know, even the scratch cards. It could be $1, $10, $1 million, $100,000 million, a billion dollars. This is the one. Some of you are going to be meeting the one tonight. He's going to bring you a gift. Um... This is a gift from the universe. This is like a, a rare energy that's coming all the time. This is a one and an 11. It's a very strong uh, message about the power of manifestation. Some of you are very gifted at that. This is earth energy. This is Capricorn energy. This is something really good going to happen on January the 1st. I like that. I'm also going live on that day. I'll be going live at 3 p.m. Eastern. Bottom of the deck. I saw this here yesterday also. Five of cups. This is a spilt milk being a little sad, being a little soggy, feeling sorry for yourself, the need to release old feelings, need to release uh, things from the past, the need to uh, move on. Some of you need to take down your Christmas tree. Some of you might be a little bit upset with your cat destroying your Christmas tree. You know, let it go. They're just a little cute animals. We also have a 15 here now, which is the devil card, which is Capricorn energy. This is about things happening in Capricorn season. So Capricorn, you might be in this energy of feeling like I haven't you know, got my abundance. My money hasn't come in. Where is it? Because we're very money focused people, Capricorn. I am a Capricorn, so I can relate to this energy. There's a cycle that needs to be broken. Some of you are working on breaking generational cycles and you're the one. You're the chosen one. You've been called to do this work. You've been called to fight off demons. You've been called to break chains. Um, I'm also seeing a 511, which is knowing your resources, knowing who to call upon. And I think you need to call Santa. I think you need to call upon your angels. I think you need to call upon Jesus. I need to call upon Allah. You need to call upon God to help you get the job done. Okay, there's some things going on tonight. So I'm going to answer the first few questions that came in through donations. Thank you everyone who sent it a donation. Thank you everyone who was patient and waited for me this morning. We had some... Um, I was going to say, things don't go out as all, things do not happen the way we plan, right? Okay, so um, I'm going to start with my PayPal princess, PayPal princess 20, you know who you are. You had a question, you want to know who is, um, who is Anthony to you. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Okay, uh, this person is, um, is a soulmate, okay, and he's here to help you unpack your past, to unpack your baggage, to unpack all the pain you've been carrying, um, he might be someone who helps you move, and I think he's going to help you move into a place of position, into a place of position of success, I think he's going to be a very good helper, listen, soulmates come into our life, whether they be pets, friends, best friends, teachers, parents, siblings, um, co-workers, boyfriends, husbands, okay? A soulmate is a very powerful person in your life. A soulmate comes in to teach you a lesson and to honor a contract that you have put in place lifetimes ago, okay? The Four of Pentacles is a heavy energy. Look at all this stuff. Look at this baggage. How are you going far? How are you going fast with all this stuff? You need to purge. You need to declutter. You need to let things go. You need to let go of the past. There are some items that you're holding on to in your past that um, someone who made you feel like an ass or someone who was an asshole to you. Hello, my lovable Leo. 
this is about um, having to pack up your stuff and move to another place and I think you're going like up to a far away place what I do like at the bottom of the deck is we have the six of wands okay so this means that you're going it's going to be a successful relationship it's not someone um, for you to be afraid of I think that someone's really going to help you a lot with a lot of things that you've been carrying around inside of you um, I think he was sent to you from your angels. I think you've been calling out for this person because you do need this divine assistance coming in with helping you with these things. You now have a four and a uh, six, which is a ten. So he's here to help you clear out a cycle. And he's here for you. To, he's here to honor a contract you guys had in a past life. Okay, this is someone I think you've been with who's experienced a death with you. Um, I'm going to pull one more card to understand you know, what that past life connection is. PayPal Princess 20. Oh, there we go. Wow. Listen, and it's going to feel like you guys just fell into something together. All right. So, ooh. I think you're going to marry this person. He's here to help heal you for sure. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. So, that's the soulmate relationship. That's an old love returning to you. And it's a new relationship. So, do feel confident in going forward about being poured into and vice versa. We have the Seven of Wands, and so I see you being defensive, but he's going to definitely bring you to another place. I think you guys traveled portals together. We have a number 17 here, so it's about hope and healing and faith. Um, number 17 is very powerful here, but also so is 1971, so it could be possibly a year that he was born or something that happened in that year that was important for you guys. And we have the Hierophant that fell out, so that's a marriage card, and it's like, oh, d ordained. See these angels? that are down there so I also have now a a 12 and a 13 so that's the death card so you guys have died together oh my god look the hope card is here number 17 I just popped up the star card so listen he thinks very highly of you he sees you as a uh, he well he really thinks you're very beautiful he has stars in his eyes when he thinks of you his heart swells when he thinks of you he's hoping that you'll actually be okay with his baggage because I think he has actually has a lot also and uh, I did see the uh, death card in here so you guys have died together multiple times I think you guys have been married before multiple times and um, I don't know if you're ready for this love to be honest I think you're gonna be very defensive so your angels are calling you to like take those defenses down um, also for you to pray on it and I think it's, you need to realize that it's your prayers being answered and just not coming in the way you thought it was going to look like or feel like but really PayPal Princess 20 go for it go for it okay so I am going to answer uh, question number 303 order number 303 here is the answer to your question you want to know if you're going to hear from a certain someone either today or tomorrow let's see take a deep breath in and let it go that's a yes with the quickness the eight of wands this is about communication coming in fast and furious this is a passionate communication, this is online communication, this is text messages, this is letters, this is emails, everything raining in, okay, and it's coming down like comets. So it's a rare event, it's a rare opportunity, it's not something that comes in all the time, but there's an eight in here, which is the infinitive, which is a forever connection. You are always going to be connected to this person. Uh, you might hear from this person after 8 p.m., bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have We Are The World. This is the final day of the year. This is the final card of the deck. So you will hear from him more so, I think, tonight than tomorrow. Um, you might even hear from him at 8.21 p.m. Uh, this person was thinking of you on the 29th very strongly. He thinks you're the one. He may communicate with you, but I don't see him taking action. He's not going to move very quickly, at least maybe not to your standard. Look at that. I think this person's going to propose to you. We have a seven of cups. This is someone who definitely has other options when it comes to other women, but he doesn't see them the same way he sees you, and he has not asked them 
to marry him either. So you might think he might be acting a little bit strange. Okay, uh, the year 1987 is prominent here. Uh, we also have a number 15, which is a coming back to that devil energy. So you might want to look back at the message I said at the beginning for the collective, those cards that came in. So I feel like Santa might have been a little bit delayed for you and is going to be uh, coming back for you. But there's a cycle that is breaking, okay? He's in a very bad negative cycle that keeps holding him back all the time. That's what's delaying the communication bottom of the deck we now have the fool a new beginning okay um if this card means anything to you you might want to look it up but the fool is about taking a risk taking a chance it's also for a new beginning a new start um a new thing happening the energy is quite good i have a lot of energy here in the heart chakra and it feels like there is a sword going through my heart but it's not painful it's just very sharp if that makes any sense so i feel like this person might have hurt you in the past what's popping up now we have the marriage card that's there i do see you marrying this person i hear purple rain singing right now purple rain purple rain um i can see you guys having something important going on in the month of uh april for some reason and I'm hearing violet in the snow. So you might feel like this person is like a miracle for you. There might be a miracle happening in that person's life to make things happening. I am seeing a lot of purple. So I would recommend saying the violet flame twin flame prayer twice a day. Um, I also feel like amethyst is a good stone for you to work with. And see the crown chakra is highly illuminated. Meaning that this person thinks about you a lot. And the divine is also guiding you. And the wheel of fortunes came flying out of the deck. So your fate will be changing and it's going to be changing with the quickness okay so we have the 10 and the chariot so we have another 17 that's here your relationship is healing this person is healing you are healing and it's at an accelerated rate you are ascending so while your crown chakra might be buzzing right now but i think you guys are going to be moving into your own house together we have a car i see a new car coming in also and i see that house which is beautiful and um going around the wheel i feel like if you've been in a bad position lately it's going to happen and this person also spies on you online and this person is definitely your twin flame we have the lovers there so you can check out the month of um of uh whatever the sixth month is the month of june is important also okay i see things happening for you but this person definitely thinks about you quite a bit all right, so we have another question. Let's see, are you here? Yes, number 304. You're asking about your financial stability. And what's going to happen after you make a career move? All right, where is the money coming from, honey? Wow. Wow, interessant, interessant. Okay, so we have uh, the Justice card come up. We have Strength card, which also plays into uh, the number eight also, but in this deck it's the number 11. I see uh, you being really fiercely protected and supported by someone who is, that you look up to, someone that you respect. I see you needing to uh, calm your own temper down. I see you needing to be able to get a grip on your own feelings. There's a bit of rage that's happening here and a frustration and a fight that you cannot win. The fight is not with external things. The fight is within yourself. So the, the energy you embody when you're trying to manifest something is the energy that's going to come through in your manifestation. Okay, so let's say you're trying to do a ritual, but you're like mad as hell and you're frustrated with your partner or, you know, with your friend or with your job and uh, you want to do abundance, it's going to be blocked, okay? So we see this this, this wild beast of a bear kind of like letting it loose, but this little figure is trying to take him down. It's like you can't, you can't poke the bear and try to fight the beast. You have to learn to control your own emotions to bring in what you want, okay? And it's happening in your, in your crown chakra first. Um, oh, ooh, but look what's right behind it. What I like is you got two sixes. This is about harmony. This is about... What's happened in the past year of the six for you that has told you that you can rely on something? You have the six of cups. This is returning to your innocence. This is returning to ch inner child healing. You need to heal the inner child. That's the one who's having, I want to say a tantrum, okay? But it's more like, a, it's, it's like a, it's a rage, okay? It's a rage that's happening because you've been hurt in the past. You've been disappointed in the past. But you have the six of pentacles. 
This is an absolute yes. This is about receiving uh, financial abundance and support from a source you could not even see or fathom. I see something great happening for you in, in, in six or 11 weeks. I see a 611 here as a repair and communication. You're going to get some information. And about what? So we have a bottom of the deck again. We have the four of pentacles. So it's about unpacking a lot of stuff. You have to clear out your space. You have to clear out your physical, materialistic space to receive in the spiritual inheritance and vouching you're asking for. They're related. Everything in life is connected, okay? So you can't be fucked up in one area of your life and expect no other area of your life to be affected by it. So start within yourself. The way for you to unpack the stuff that you've been holding on to could literally be like purging your room, purging the money wealth corner of your of your office, or the space where you work, um, letting something go when it comes to your finances and your money. It's like you're holding on too tightly to something, just like this... Um, this figure is trying to hold on to the neck of this bear. It's like, you're going to fall off this roller coaster, okay? You cannot ride the bull for this long. Um, you also have a 411, which means you're going to be needing to get some more information. So you might be needing to do some inf some um, some research, okay? But the Six of Pentacles is fantastic. I think the full moon on January the 6th is going to be a time for you to call in what you want, call in what you need. You have water and um and 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 earth energy that is capricorn energy look where you have capricorn in your birth chart and see what's happening with those planets and get in alignment i cannot stress enough how the planets the stars the moon and the sun has such an effect on everything you want to do in life okay so you want to look at also your jupiter where is your jupiter and what's going on with jupiter right now um i don't think it's on retrograde but i think it's still in mars so that's why you're fighting so much chill girl you're gonna get it you're gonna get it but look what came up now we have the devil and the eight card so it's like you have this legacy this um this generational cycle that you need to cut all of you guys got uh the number 15 so that is tapping into capricorn energy you need to be resilient in this time you really need to be resilient in this time and to recognize that resilience is brilliance, that you are the one who has the power, that you have the ability to manifest whatever you want, that you're very gifted. And whenever you doubt yourself, whenever you fall into this type of energy, you just block all of your blessings. All right, so just for the record, that sword just came out of my heart, so that feels good. I'm going to do the Twin Flame Collective reading now. Oof, yeah, that felt kind of heavy. All right, Santa, all right, all right, all right. So we're moving on now. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We're moving into Capricorn energy, Taurus energy, Virgo energy of stability, of slow building, of taking your time in relationships. I'm going to clear the deck and we're going to move into the Divine Lover spread. So I'm going to pull three cards for the Divine Feminine, three cards for the Divine Masculine, and three cards for the Relationship. And then two cards for an overall tone of what's happening. So, angels in love and light. Angels in love and light. Give us the cards and the cards that are bright. Thank you. Those of you trying to call love into your life, you want to work with some of those quartz. I recommend also getting a white stone to help purify and clear out the past energy, things that hold you back in blocks. That's an aragonite. It's like a master cleansing stone. It's very strong angelic vibes in it, and I always place it on top of my tarot decks before I pull cards. So I'm going to pull cards for the Divine Feminine. I'm pulling three cards now. Concentrate on what it is that you actually want to see. Wow, Jesus. Blouse and scarves. That's amazing. I'm pulling three cards for the Divine Masculine. Oh, wow. I love this. People who get tarot readings from me, like, know my facial expressions, like, just do not lie. So, this is so beautiful. I love it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so, bottom of the deck for the Twin Flame Collective, we have. The hangman, again, okay? So we had that with the, um, with the collective cards. 
Okay, so with the Two of Swords and the Hangman in the special Lightseer's deck, this is about contemplation. It's also number 12, so it's about December. So we're talking about active energy and what's happening right now. Look at that light on me. You see that? Ooh, hi. <laughs> Um, this is about Orpheus and your CDs, and it's, it's a, the key word here is sacrifice. Okay, so there's something you have to sacrifice, and I see that a lot in the Four of Pentacles also. There's something you need to let go of. So a lot of you Twin Flames are in separation right now, and there's no action happening. For some of you who are, are in a union, it's like you have to let something go to let something flow. And I feel like that's a lot about the energy we are now. We need to release 2022 and to go into 2023 with new energy, with new ideas, with uh, new thoughts, right? And the hangman is about not taking action. It's about thinking about it first. It's about imagining it first. So some of you guys who are trying to call in the relationship of your dream or call in your soulmate, make your vision board. What kind of love do you want? What kind of relationship do you want? What do you want it to look like? What seeds are you planting? The hangman hangs from a tree. A lot of you guys uh, are still in the 1212 portal, okay? You're still like trans transmuting and traveling through it. So it's like, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? But these cards that I have right here, mwah, 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 gorgeous, okay? So I'm going to start with the um, divine feminine. What's going on in the head? The six of swords. The Six of Swords is about moving away from difficult times and moving to a place that is more um, stable, going towards an easier time, getting away from turbulence. Those of you who are traveling right now, um, some of you are traveling mentally, some of you are astral traveling, some of you are physically traveling. Hello, welcome. Some of you are moving away from the hard times and going to better times. Okay, the water is, is, is softer here, but look, she has no oar, she has no paddle. She doesn't know how she's going to get there. Spirit is moving you. God is moving you. The tides are moving you. Time is moving you. The portal is moving you. It's a six. We're moving out of the six energy and going into the seven energy, okay? And where are we moving to? Look what's going on in the divine masculine's head. Union, the two of cups. You're moving away from this mental anxiety, from this emotional turbulence, and going into this. Some of you are physically going to be moving to a place and going over the water and going to another land. He's calling you in. He wants to be with you. He sees you. Look, he's like knocked over all the stuff from his past, his emotional past, his emotional garbage. You might still be standing strong, okay? You've been standing strong for a long time, Divine Feminine, but you're coming towards your masculine who wants this union with you. He sees you. He sees you as his counterpart. He loves you. We have a two and a six. That's an eight. You guys are going to be together forever. You're never separated. Even if you cannot see him right now, you cannot see how you're going to get there. You're getting there. You really need to let go of the mental anxiety and like wondering how something's going to happen and when it's going to happen and like the details and the timing. Let go of the timing. You're already together in the spiritual world. Like you can see in the background, there's like some lightning that's here. It's like there's been storms. There might have been some flooding. There's some flooding here. The power's gone out over here. But you're still standing strong. You're still on the same ground. You're still on the same page. You still both want this. This is gorgeous. All right. So what's going on in the heart space? Divine Feminine. Ace of Swords. We've had two aces come up now, Okay. Ace of Swords is about your mental thoughts. So your head is ruling your heart. You're overanalyzing, you're overthinking, but you know the truth. The truth is actually in your crown chakra. The truth is actually being delivered to you by messengers. The truth is actually the angels are coming in and letting you know, yes, there's turbulence, yes, there's a storm, yes, there's clouds, but the blue skies are here. It's coming down, it's channeling down. And look, it's a heart at the end of this arrow. It's trying to penetrate your heart. Your psyche is trying to speak to your heart. But your subconscious has all the answers, but your and your heart is cannot lie to you. But your head can. Your head can make up a whole bunch of stories. You can busy yourself with a whole bunch of worrying thoughts. How is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Who is going on? Who is he dating? What's happening? Where's my money? Where's my job? Where's my this? What about my parents? It's thinking too much. There's a lot of communication, but angelic communication is coming in. This is an 11. This is the 11, 11 awakening. Some of you guys are going to be like, Psh. I hear you. What is it? Shock to the heart, baby, you're to blame. You give love a bad name. 
Some of you are too stuck on the hurt from the past, whether it be from your twin flame or from other lovers or, you know, other soulmates, even, you know, other people in your life. You're thinking too much. This is a call for you to meditate, Divine Feminine. What's going on in the uh, heart space of the Divine Masculine? Seven of Cups. Options. Opportunity. Thinking about a whole bunch of things. Can you see him coming in here and kissing you while you're sleeping? He thinks about you 24-7. But he's dealing with other stuff. He has responsibilities at the home and the house. His crown chakra is totally on fire. He might be going through a major awakening right now. He might be dealing with a death in his family right now or a loss of a job. He has no idea what you're doing. He can't see you. It's like you ghosted him or he ghosted you. Someone might be deceiving him or he might be worried about the woman from his past who have hurt him or used him. There is a, uh, a pot of flowers here, okay? It's not overflowing, but there's some flowers in there and there's an empty cup. So there's a lot of options. We also have, again, another 17. It's healing. The heart is healing right now. But the heart wants what it wants. That's what I'm hearing. He comes to you in your dreams. He comes to you in your meditations. He's actually there beside you now in your life, but you're overthinking other stuff also. And please remember, twin flames, you guys feel each other's respective energy. So, you know, if you're feeling more so that's you on one side than the other, you're going to feel what your twin flame feels. You're the same person. <laughs> I love how he's coming in all ghost-like and kissing. But he's also being haunted by his past. Okay? He's still haunted by his past. Divine Feminine. What does your spirit, what does your soul need you to know? What's going on in that energy? We have another ace. <laughs> the 1111 is yours. You've already walked through this portal. You're in it. The ace of wands is about uh, creativity. The ace of wands is about um, sexual energy. The ace of wands is about um, a creative endeavor, a new opportunity, a new beginning, something that sparks. Your soul wants you to know this is the one. The person you're thinking of, that's the one. That's your person. And you know this. You know it in your crown chakra. And it's growing. The relationship is growing. The power is growing. The earth is fertile. The grass is green. Focus on what you're creating. And understand and remember that you are a co-creator. You're a co-creator with source. You're a co-creator with the universe. You're a co-creator with God. You're a co-creator with your higher self. You're a co-creator with your twin flame and their higher self. You're a co-creator with your angels. Build the life you want to see. Whatever is in the past, burn it down. Let it go. A lot of you need to do a cord cutting ritual and some candle magic. DM me. Check out my website. I offer those services. You need to burn away the past and your bad habits. What's going on in the divine masculine space? In his spirit? In his soul? The hermit. He's not dating somebody else. He's only thinking of you. Look. Those of you who haven't read it, I would read Dante's Inferno. It's great. Um, but this is uh, Abelard and Eloise. He only ever thinks of you. He's inside his own spirit. He's inside his own spiritual journey. The uh, hermit is about going on a spiritual path and having to travel. Some of you are going to come into union in nine months. Some of you are going to get have a baby in nine months. Some of you guys are going to get together in the month of September. The month of September is very important here. It's a healing time. We're going into the universal year of the seven, which is about the seeker. It's all about the hermit. It's about the journey the hermit goes on. Some of you are going to be married in a, um, not this, not 23, 24, in 2025, universal year of the nine. We have a 911 here, so it's an emergency assistance. Some of you guys need to call in this help. Pray for him. Pray for yourself. Pray for your inner child. Pray for your future. It's the uh, only major arcana that we have right now besides the bottom of the deck. I would circle uh, September the 12th. Interesting that I said that because that's after the towers fall. Okay, so once you get past this blockage from your heart center and come into this energy, it's going to move forward for you. And it is happening already as we speak. It's already happening as we speak. So three cards for the state of the union. I love it. I love it. And I love it. Okay, state of the union. What's happening right now in the shared heart space, head space, spirit space? We have the Prince of Cups. 
This is a true lover. This is the uh, chaser of the Holy Grail. This is the pure person. This is a romantic person. This is someone with a pure heart and pure intention is coming towards you. This is someone who wants to be a father. This is someone who wants to build a home. This is someone who wants to build a relationship. This is someone coming towards you to help you heal. And it's happening now in this crescent moon energy. Check out the moon tonight and see if it looks like this. Someone's winking at you. Your uh, spirit guides are helping you and guiding you and bringing this person to you and to your relationship. Your ships are coming in. Three of Wands. This is about having the faith. It's about believing things that you cannot see. You can't see his face here. You may not even have met this person yet, but it is coming in. We have the, the three ones. We have the three aces like we have in this reading. Three aces is a promise to come true. Four aces is a guarantee. Or three aces is really good. It's so auspicious. We have three aces in this reading. Queen of Pentacles. Hello, Capricorn energy. Hello, Taurus energy. Hello, Virgo energy. That nine that I said is very important here, okay? We have these two people. You might have a relationship where you, the divine feminine is more mature than the divine masculine. You might be an older in soul age. You might be more responsible. You might be the one who nurtures more. You might be the person who really gets it. But you need work on your finances. You need to be in a lap of luxury. You need to be in that queen of pentacles energy where you can nurture something and bring something into fruition. The king of pentacles gives you an acorn. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to plant it? Are you going to watch it grow? Are you going to give it fertile soil? Are you going to talk to your plant? Are you going to water your plant and take care of your plant? This is you taking care of your career. Those of you asking about money questions is a fucking yes. A hell yes. This is him nurturing you. This is the divine masculine being more in a spiritual energy. This is water energy. This is strong cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, spirituality, telepathy, heart space communications. You guys need to be doing daily meditations, opening your heart and pouring your heart out. Some of you work too much. Some of you are way more focused on work, hello Capricorn, than you are on your relationships. This is the mountain goat and the fishtail. It comes together. Capricorn is the only sign that has that dual element to it. We begin and end with Capricorn. Your relationship is beginning and ending now. There's an end to something, an end to separation, an end to a way of thinking, a, a way to doing things. There's an end to karmic contracts. Three of Wands is keeping the faith. The Three of Wands is your ships coming in. The Three of Wands is everything you prayed for coming to fruition. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I feel so good. I'm so glad that the timing worked out, that it happened when it happened, that this reading happened when it happened. Um, I will be posting this on, uh, on my stories, in my Instagram feed. It'll be on my website. It's going to be on my YouTube channel. I just want to say, the new bomb of the deck is the lover's card. Some of you are going to be coming to union with someone who doesn't look like you, coming into union with someone who has a different religious view, standpoint, or philosophy than you. This is someone who also um, may not look like you. I see different races coming together, different religions coming together. I see different... Um, Someone who speaks a different mother tongue before, you know, their first language may not be the same. This is Isis and Osiris. This is a reunion of a relationship that has survived the test of time. This is a relationship that has ended and come back together. This is the I am energy. This is the twin flame union card. Those of you who got sixes, okay, this is another yes for you. But we have the two sixes in here. We have this harmonious. You're moving towards this harmonious thing. Some of you are actually going to go to Egypt. Some of you are going to go to faraway lands. Some of you are going through a dry period right now of the Sahara. Some of you are abstinent for a long period of time, maybe like more than six months or maybe six weeks. Um, but it's going to come together, okay? You guys are going to come together because twin flames are meant to heal the world. Your union is going to bless the world. So it's going to begin and end with you. I see a lot of you guys coming into union um, in Capricorn season next year or the year after that. Um, you've definitely died together. I hear someone saying adios. I hear someone saying ciao. I see someone, someone say yo. I hear someone saying, um, I die for you. I hear someone saying, uh, I hear someone playing a violin. I see white flowers. 
I see crown. It's all in your crown chakra. That's where the work has to happen because your heart can't lie to you. So purify your heart. You must purify your mind. Some of you needed to let this person go to let them flow back to you. A lot of you guys are releasing old karmic patterns. Um, I have like a tear coming down from my eye, so... There's a sadness and a releasing that's happening. Oh my god, I don't know how this happened, but my Lightseer's deck just fell over. So let me look at those cards. We have the King of Cups here again. So that is the Prince of Cups elevating into his heart space and growing and healing and being able to heal other people. And some of you are going to meet someone tonight going out for drinks. There's going to be someone who knows how to talk a lot. They might be shy around you. I see someone who's very embarrassed to come towards you with his truth, but... The truth can only be delayed but not denied. We have the Ace of Cups coming in here. So now we have fucking four Aces, people. It's a guarantee. I promise you. I promise you. Fill your cup first. It's going to be overflowing. This is such a beautiful alchemy of the soul. And look what came up behind it. The Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrating, having a great time. Some of you are going to be celebrating in a matter of three hours. You're going to be celebrating over the next three days. You're going to be celebrating on the third. Oh, it's my birthday. Yeah. That's my birthday, the one and the three, January the 3rd, hello. Um, this is also a 13, so of confirmation again, this person might be suffering from a death in the family, um, a, a loss of a job or something sad that happened that they're releasing, but good times are on the horizon. Uh, there's a lot of green in that card, so that's a heart chakra that's healing. We have the Six of Swords coming down again to double down. Divine Feminine, you're moving. You can't see who's pushing you there, but you're going to these softer waters. And now you have that, that assistance, okay? So you still have your hand in the water. You still have your hand in something. You still have your hand in the pot, I want to say. You have a hand in it, okay? You're getting assistance. Oh, my God, a Six of Pentacles is behind there. So now we have four sixes. So you want to look up that angel number, 6666. It's not about the devil whatsoever. And we have the Twin Flame card. I don't have to say anything else, people. Okay, I don't have to say anything else. I'm glowing. My cheeks hurt. Um, I'm happy. It feels beautiful. There's butterflies in my stomach. There's a bit of a nervous energy and excited energy. There's like uh, that feeling before Christmas. So those of you who are Armenian Orthodox celebrating New Year's Eve um, and Christmas today, Merry Christmas. Those of you going into um, the new year, I wish you guys all the best for prosperity and good health. I toast to you. And to your health of your family, to the health of your heart. Um, those of you who are struggling right now, if you're struggling with anxiety, if you're struggling with stress, you're struggling with um, trauma, I do offer one on one assist, uh, one on one coaching system. It's called the Sage and the Healing Arts Capsule. You can have long term uh, weekly services with me to help you heal your chakras, heal your aura with aura therapy. I also offer meditation and yoga. I recommend yin yoga at this time. It's more receptive and it's more passive than a yang, than a hashtanga or anything because you need to be in a place of receiving right now. Your downloads are coming in. Keep a pen and paper beside your bed and please say your prayers. Ask your angels for assistance. I highly recommend taking a spiritual bath tonight to release everything. Um, I really recommend also cleaning your house from top to bottom. If it takes you the whole day, if it takes you all day tomorrow, that's okay. I do have a blog post about spiritual hygiene and the things you can do to clear out your space and to keep it energetically safe, especially if you're hosting or going out to any parties tonight. Um, I see something happening on June 21st, so you might want to circle that also. And um, thank you guys. I'll be here tomorrow, hopefully on time. Um, uh, tomorrow is January the 1st. It's the first day of the new year. I'll be going live, be doing a 12 month forecast for each sun sign of the zodiac. So I'll be on here at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. Thank you everyone for joining. I'll be sending this video to everyone who's on my email list. If you ever had a reading for me, you're on that list. And uh, yeah, thanks. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye.